Hello everybody, we are back. I wanted to do a quick little video to touch on a couple issues that some of you people have been having when using my Git Bucket program. And part of this is because um, you weren't familiar with how the servers work. If you should go back possibly and watch some of my other Bucket videos that talk about how to set up a Bucket server and connect with your other computers. But first thing I want to go with is uh, here I have a directory where I've installed my Git Bucket. You can see I've run it. Some of you from my video, uh, I know at least one person said, I don't have a go.bat, I have a file called go. Well, you do have a file.go.bat, but this is what your system probably was showing. You're not seeing extensions for known file names. That's a default setting for Windows. I hate that setting, uh, so I always turn it off. But I have it set the way yours probably looked. But if you're not seeing the extensions on these files, you're okay. That's still a batch file. It's go.bat. Now here's what I do. I go under folder options. I turn off this hide extensions for known file types. So here you can see now it's showing go.bat. You don't have to do that, but just be aware if you don't see a .bat on the end of it, it's just because your system is set to the default to hide known extensions. All right, so anyway, let's uh, go ahead and run our server. All right, our server is running. Now there's two ways, two scenarios really, to connect to your server. Let's assume that you have the server and your Minecraft client on the same computer. If you do, all you've got to do, if they're both on the same computer, you don't have to worry about any IPs for you to connect. Go ahead and go to your Minecraft, go to multiplayer, do a direct connect just for testing, you can add this later, and literally just type localhost. and you will connect. Now, if you have the server, which is the case for my setup here, this server is running in a virtual machine, but if you have a separate computer in your house, be it say an extra desktop, an extra laptop, and it's on your local network, and you're running your server on it, and you want to run the Minecraft client on your computer, your main system, say. Here's how you're going to connect to it. You need to know the IP of this computer. The IP that my little Git Bucket program shows you, or the IP that websites such as IP Chicken show you, that's your real IP, your internet routable IP. That is not what you're going to use when you're connecting from your local network. So if you've got bucket running on another system on your network and you go over to your computer and you want to connect to it, you need to know the IP for the computer running the server. The way to do that is you go to the computer running it, which is this one here in my case, go to Programs, Accessories, Command Prompt. You can also do a Start, Run, and type CMD, whichever way you prefer. That'll bring up a DOS prompt. Then type IP Config. Now, mine only has one IP list or one device listed, my Ethernet adapter. If you're using wireless, you may see an Ethernet adapter and a wireless adapter. Be sure to look for the one uh, that is the actual connection that you're using to get onto your network. But here you can see my address is 192.168.0.191. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our Minecraft. We're going to multiplayer, direct connect. 190, nope, 192.168.0.191, and we're going to connect, and here you can see we are on the server. And you can see here I logged in and I disconnected. So remember, if you're running the Minecraft server, your bucket server, on your computer, and you're running the Minecraft client on your computer, just connect to localhost. If you're running them on separate computers, in your, own, on, in your own house, on your own network, run IP config on the computer running the server, note the IP, and then put that on as many of your computers on your home network is that, that are going to connect to it. Now, for your buddies who are at their own houses on their own internet connections, if they're going to connect to your system, you either need to tell them the IP that my program gave you, which is in your IP.txt, or you need to go to a uh, website such as IP Chicken. 
if you go to ipchicken.com, you can see that it lists your IP. Now I'm going to mask my IP because I don't want you guys to know what my IP is. But suffice to say, on the screen here is my real world IP. And that IP should match what is inside my IP.txt. And in my case, it does. So again, those are your two methods. Hopefully that helps you if you're having any problems with connections. Just remember, localhost will connect you to your computer. IP config will tell you that your local IP for that system if you're running Minecraft on a different one. And if you're connecting, uh, wanting your buddies to connect from the outside, give them your real world IP. Now that still doesn't mean that your friends are going to be able to connect to your server because you probably have a firewall be it a hardware firewall that's your your router so you've got a linksys or a d-link or an smc belkin you know who knows um and or you have say a software firewall so any of those things can add to it i have a video that talks about how to configure a firewall it's not an easy process because all routers are different so i can't give you exact help on that uh, but if you're having problems figuring out how to get your firewall opened up for Minecraft or you're afraid of the security risks of that, if you do it wrong, then what I recommend you do is use a program like Hamachi. There's a lot of videos that talk about how to set up Hamachi. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a big fan of Hamachi. I'd rather set up my own server like this and if, open up my firewall, the ports that are needed for the server. Uh, but if you are having trouble with the firewall portion of things, I recommend you try a program like Hamachi. So hopefully that helps some of you who have had problems figuring out how to connect to your server once you've got it running. That should help you. Uh, if you have any other questions, post comments, and maybe some of the other people uh, can, can offer assistance too to help you out. So hopefully uh, you guys are all running your bucket servers and look for some more videos here in the coming uh, weeks that will show how to do more with Bucket.